Hey guys, it's Tom here, and welcome back to SCP Containment Breach Project Resurrection. In the last episode, we swapped genders and became a woman, and then we ate a shitload of bubblegum that then turned our blood pink, made it boil and seep out through our stomach, arms, and back, which is just, just, just wonderful. I mean, I would, honestly, if I had to pick a way to go, it would be death by boiling bubblegum blood seeping out through my body, you know, just obviously not. No one wants that, except me. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, pretty bad, pretty horrific. Um, not the turn into a woman part. That was just, I mean, you know, whatever. Not going to be sexist on everything. You know, we grew some boobs, and that was pretty much it. Uh, uh, well, we threw up a lot as well. It was a painful process. But uh, you know, no negative effects as far as I could tell. But the the bubble gum, definitely, definitely do not want to eat the bubble gum. Uh, I don't know if there was anything else down this way. I don't think there was. I'm gonna just just before I go, I'm gonna check because you know we, we don't really have any reason to come back here now that we've found both the new SCPs. So yeah, it's just down to the the big red boys. So we don't need to come back this way. Well, we need to come back this way, but not this far because the furthest we're gonna be coming after this is to these two rooms to get the ring and the key. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Just the ring and the key. My screen went blurry as if 173 was here, and then he just wasn't. So, <laughs> that's worrying. I shouldn't have blinked and I was run up to an open door either. That's very stupid. But, we didn't die, so whatever. But, um, you can probably tell because the lighting is exactly the same in my webcam. I'm wearing the same shirt. And also, we started exactly where we left off last time with the same amount of blink and everything. I'm recording this immediately after. So, if you had any suggestions in the last video, I apologize. But, they won't be happening until the next video. Because, I haven't seen them because they're in the future for me right now. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, so we do have to come back this way, but we have to find the refinery first because we need to get level 3 to get into the other gas mask room. To Oh god, what am I doing? Whoops. Oh god. Uh, yeah, we need to get SCP-1499 and the key in the ring. I can't remember their numbers. But yeah, we need to come back here at some point. But before we do that, we need level 3 or we can't do anything. And I did spawn a level 3 in last time, but just to check out the new SCP. I'm not going to spawn it in for stuff that I don't need. I reloaded the save to before we used commands to spawn stuff in, so... I've wiped the slate clean on sheets. I purely did it because I knew it was going to be something new. And I wanted to showcase it in that video rather than having to run all the way back like I am now. Get a level 3 keycard and then run all the way back just to see one thing. So, okay, that's... What do you need to open this one? I can't remember. Oh, you just can't get in. I guess you've got to turn off door controls and then open it. Because for some reason, 079 doesn't want you in there. Can't imagine why he wouldn't want two of us running around or, you know, more. Even more people to distract the guards and turn the power off. So I don't think... I I went this way to get the level 2 key card. But I didn't go any further than the skull room, which is right here, I think. Yeah, so... Hopefully, this leads straight to the refinery. Because I'd like to just get a level 3 as fast as possible. Get back there. Get the stuff we need and get going. Uh, I should probably save it as well. But uh, I finished... Um, well, I say I finished reading it off. I sort of read that last little bit about the... I can't remember the number. The SCP that changes your gender if you touch it. And it's like... Was it like a 60% chance to be successful? But then if you try and change back, it's like 30%. And then if you try it again, it's like 10%. So like every time you touch it, it changes your gender again. But the percentage of it being successful and not killing you or making you like hideously disfigured goes lower and lower so the first touch is still pretty much 50 50 and then after that it's like half and then half again i think something like that i can't remember properly i like briefly read it just before i started recording this one but i just i just wanted to get back into this to be honest so oh medical bay we uh might be able no level three it's always level three <laughs> but uh yeah it seems like a bad idea like if you knew what it did you know, I could see some people wanting to do it because, you know, you have people that want to change genders. So it seemed like really tempting. Like, oh, I can just, instead of having all the surgery and 
doing all that stuff, I can just touch this stone and be changed. But no, because there's literally, it's, well, it's 60 40. You have a 60% chance of being fine and a 40% chance of either just straight up dying or coming out like disfigured because it's just messed your body up. And then if you decide, hey, you know what? I don't want to be the opposite gender. I want to change back. Well, then you're even more fucked because then you have a 30% chance of just straight up dying slash being horribly disfigured. So, you know, maybe don't do it. I mean, it's not real, I'm so <laughs> but you know what I mean. Or is it? Uh, spooky. Sorry. It's not that spooky. Or is it? Oh, I'll stop. Uh, right, we're, we're, I've found the refinery, but I was in I was such so deep in thought that I didn't actually acknowledge it. But we're here. We found it. So, gas mask, uh, level 2, level 1, level 1, and first aid kit. You know what? You know what? You know what? Take the med kit out. We'll go for very fine, because we could... Potentially get an Omni key card. So I'm going to go for very fine because the gas mask comes out the same either way. And then we'll put the med kit in afterwards on fine with whatever the card comes out. I have a feeling we're not going to get an Omni key card on the first try. Very unlikely. But you never know. You never know. No, see, just a bunch of master cards. We can go on a shopping spree later, but not right now. So let's change it back to fine. Change it back to the fine bros. Get some reaction videos on the go. And there we go. Oh, okay. And three, two, one. Give me the money. They're all level twos, right? Yeah. That's fine, because now what we can do, we can chuck them in on fine, and we're guaranteed to get a level three key card. I think you're pretty much guaranteed with just one, so three is definitely, definitely up there in uh, chances of us Finding some new shit. I don't remember what the level 3 uh, doors were. I mean, obviously you got the key and the the ring. Oh, the other level 3 was the, the bubble gum, but we've already been in there. We used SCP. C-H-E-A-T. Uh, okay. It's a bit annoying that we didn't have everything we usually would upgrade. Oh, no, actually, or, or did we? It's just the gas mask, the key card, and the, met the first aid kit didn't change for some reason. Weird. Uh, yeah, no, actually, that's fine. That's pretty much all we need refined. So now... Was it this way? No, that... Uh, oh, you know what, though? This is the other side of the lizard room. So we could just go there and, t like, come up exactly where we need to be. I'm going to do that. Instead of running all the way back, I'm going to make it interesting. We're going to go down... Uh oh We're going to go down to Red Lizard Town. And we're going to go through and come up on the other side. Hopefully they haven't changed it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm still really nervous about that. Um, like SCP 1049-RU or whatever the fuck it was. The weird like smiley face. I have no idea what that was. And I kind of don't want to find out. Okay, he's on my left. He's on my left. Hello? Oh, we can get the hand while we're here. Is that the dark hand? Oh, it is. That's the one that gets us past 049 tunnels. Nice. I'll take that any day of the week. We don't really need the night vision goggles. It's kind of just whatever. I should, probably, I should probably save between each section in case I mess it up. But this is like a shortcut pretty much. Because we're going to come up exactly where we need to be. Where the ring and the key... Oh, he looks bigger. No, he doesn't. For a second, I thought he was bigger. Uh, this is going to take us exactly where we need to be. I won't come back through here to get back. I'll just run back and because it's not actually that far. But I just wanted to make it a bit interesting, you know. It's just somebody else. Phone. Be quiet. Now's not the time. They're based on sound. Okay. I think we're fine. No, he's like right there. I'm pretty sure. Let me. He's over here now. That's fine. Okay, that's that one done. Oh, God. Even after all this time, these tunnels, they, they still make me, they make me sweat. But luckily, 
not pink foam that's boiling and killing me. Because that would be bad. Or good, you know. Maybe you're into that. Who am I to judge? Oh god, that is just terrifying. That just coming out of the darkness. Imagine you're in bed and that shit happens. I'm sorry, I probably just freaked a bunch of people out. But... What is he? Research or something, please respond. You know, we can probably just make a run for it. Like, they're not going to catch me. I'm faster than Keemstar, you can't catch me. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> that would be bad if it was chasing me. I forgot you have to wait for it to turn up now. We should also face this because 173 might be in here. Waiting for real huggy boy hours, you know. Alright, we made it. Possibly. We might still get killed by 173 at the top, which is annoying. I've noticed the door is an upside down cross. Don't know if that's intentional. Is it an Outlast reference? We don't know. Alright. So, we are where we need to be. There we go. There's bubblegum and gender swap stone room. The bubblegum is... I think just straight up bad. I don't remember what it said, to be honest. I've actually forgotten, but... I'm pretty sure it's just straight up bad. The gender swapping stone... Isn't necessarily bad, but it doesn't have any positive benefits unless you just, you know, want to play as a woman in this game. Not that you can actually tell because nothing actually changes, but, um, yeah, I mean, there's no point to touching it, really. There's no, there's no positives, and there's the possibility of a negative. Either nothing will happen or something bad will happen, basically, is what I'm saying. And the bubblegum, I'm pretty sure, is just bad, so, you know, drugs are bad. Okay. Bubblegum's bad. You don't want to read the bubblegum, okay? Uh, no, we don't want the book of diseases. Do I look like a nutcase? Don't answer that. Oh, yeah, this is blank, because that's SCP-500 upgraded, which does heal wounds. Okay, so that's the ring and the key. We only need SCP-1499, and that's actually it, I think. Maybe. Maybe... Mm, baby. Okay. Oh, we need to unlock heavy as well, which is all back this way. I mean, literally everything is back this way because it's a dead end. But <laughs> but you know what I mean. Right, that should be Jim. Is it Jim Gonzalez? I can't ever remember. I can't never remember. What a sentence. Jim Gonzalez. What happened? My game just paused itself. How dare you look at Jim. <laughs> I will fucking pause you in place and make you stare at Jim's eyeball. There we go. So this is on the way. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get in there. Come on. Come on. I don't know if that's intentional. I don't care. Goodbye. Oh dear. What? What is this? Okay, first of all, the music sounds different. Second of all, is it just me, or do they look like they're standing guard on purpose to this monolith? Are you going to speak to me? No, he's not going to speak to me. Oh my fucking... What is this? This is new. I don't know if this is new for the base game or if this is just they've put this in this mod but you now spawn looking at this building with two what look like bodyguards or well, bouncers I guess you go in here what the fuck they're all just standing there like praying to whoever that is and there's like one up there that's darker than the others he must be the boss man oh shit and then there's two like guards here as well can I stand up the front and give a speech Hello everyone, uh, I'd like to tell you all about my YouTube channel. Ah! I'm sorry, don't subscribe. Oh God. They did not appreciate me <laughs> shamelessly plugging my channel at their meeting. They, they didn't enjoy that. What is this? This looks different. Oh, it isn't. They've just updated it. Alright, well, that was terrifying. I'm going to be honest. Don't, just remember, don't advertise your channel shamelessly. 
in the middle of some sort of cult meeting. I do want to see... Oh god, I'm scared. They're all gone. They're all gone. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Please tell me I didn't save beforehand. Okay, good, good, good. I, I want to see... Like, what is going on? Because that is... I don't know if that's new to the base game or that's a part of this mod. But either way, that's cool as shit. Like, normally you just jump into the uh, 1499 dimension and they're just running around randomly. Now you spawn in in front of this huge monolith. Two bodyguard bouncer people, just guards, I guess, either side. And then you go inside and they're all just like praying and worshipping these two standing up the top. I want to know what's going on. Get Varty on this, alright? Get Varty to do some SCP lore. Because I want to know. I also really, really need to go pee, but I want to find this out first, so... I'm going to do that. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's missing. Okay, grab the key. And grab this right. I'm going to save now that I picked all that stuff up. And I'm going to save just before I go to their dimension as well. Uh, oh, God. I'm going to put this on for quickness, too. Oh, my God. I really need a Wii. Like, really bad. Okay, we need to run past Jim. Oh, come on. Close the door. There we go. Run past Jim, and it should be this door right here. And then we go in. There we go. Pick it up. Take this mask off. Save the game. And off we go. Alright, so it's definitely on purpose. But I want to know what my dudes are doing up here. Because look, look, they're all like... Some of them putting their arms up. Like praying and stuff. They all look like they're into it. And then there's these two up here. Oh my god, he's actually standing with his arms behind his back. Like he is... He knows what's going on. He knows what's up. And there's this one that's... Are they actually speaking? I said that so like... I pronounced all the letters. Oh! And then they all watch. Okay. So he's... Okay, right. That's cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. So he's the leader. 100%. I don't know... Oh, that's cool. There's a little kid one. Alright, you know what? That is really cool. I actually, I, did, I don't know if that's new to the base game or the mod. I've said that like four times now. So let me know if you know. Uh, that's really cool. So there, I couldn't see properly from down the bottom. But there's one, the darker one was just standing there normal. The one in the middle had his hands behind his back. So like... I always thought that was just mindless monsters wandering around. This kind of shows they have intelligence. Which is interesting. So he's got his arms behind his back like hands folded sort of thing. And then the darker one sort of turns towards him. Points. And then the one in the middle nods. Turns back to face everyone. Points like down towards where you would be standing. And then makes that noise. And then the... All, like the the big group don't attack you, they just watch. But the two up on the stage and the two from outside come in and they start attacking you, and I'm guessing kill you. That's really interesting. That's actually really cool. I don't again, I don't know if that's new in the uh, like in the base game or this. So let me know if you know. But that is actually really cool. I like that a lot because they used to just be mindless monsters. Now that it shows like they're actually kind of organized, which I don't know if that's supposed to be how they are. But I like it regardless. It's like deep lore, you know. <laughs> so, like I said, get Varty on it. He'll figure it out. But anyway, that is going to be it for today's episode. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated. As always, I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.